Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, circle with the center P, fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these points uh, C, D, and E are the points of tangency. And moreover, the area of this uh, white circle has been given to us as pi centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. This area, this area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And I am going to label uh, the radius of this uh, white uh, circle as uh, lowercase r and the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle as uh, uppercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of lowercase r and the uppercase r uh, as well. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the whole quarter circle minus uh, the area of the white uh, circle inside and we know the white circle area has been given to us as pi centimeter square so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this quarter circle and here's our next step let's focus on this white circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius of this white circle and moreover the area of this uh, white circle has been given to us as pi so therefore we can write uh, pi lowercase r square equals to the area pi let's divide both sides uh, by pi this pi and pi is gone so therefore uh, lowercase r square value turns out to be equal to one and now i am going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our uh, lowercase r radius value turns out to be one centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, white circle turns out to be one centimeter. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point of tangency C. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's recall this crucial fact. The centers and the point of tangency are collinear. No wonder these centers O, this center P, and this point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now in this next step, I have connected this center P with this point of tangency D. And now let's recall the circle theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be a 90 degree angle since uh, this uh, PD is our radius and uh, this uh, is our tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, PD is the radius of this uh, white circle and the radius uh, is one. So PD length uh, is one. And likewise, uh, this uh, PC length uh, is uh, radius uh, as well. So therefore, uh, this length is going to be one centimeter as well. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, length uh, EP is equal to this uh, segment uh, OD. And we know this is our uh, radius uh, one. So therefore, our uh, OD is going to be one centimeter as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ODP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, OP length. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, OP is the hypotenuse, whereas uh, one and one are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, one square plus one square equals to OP square. 
let's simplify we are going to get 1 plus 1 equal to op square so therefore op square value turns out to be equal to 2 and now i am going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore our op length uh, turns out to be square root of 2 centimeter so thus our uh, this uh, op length turns out to be square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, OC is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius of this quarter circle has been labeled as uh, uppercase R and this uh, radius is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two individual segments uh, square root of 2 plus this segment uh, 1 so therefore uh, our radius uppercase R is going to be equal to 1 plus uh, square root of 2 and since we figured out uh, the radius of this uh, quarter circle as 1 plus uh, square root of 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and now let's recall the area of the circle formula once again area is always equal to pi r square where uppercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle so therefore uh, the area of this quarter circle is going to be pi times uh, uppercase r square divided by 4 and we know our uppercase r value is 1 plus square root of 2 so i'm going to substitute that value over here so therefore uh, the quarter circle area is going to be pi divided by 4 times uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2 times a b and we are going to apply this uh, identity on this uh, binomial so therefore we can write this one as uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, 1 uh, plus 2 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 let's combine these uh, like terms so therefore uh, this quarter circle area is going to be equal to pi divided by 4 times uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region and now let's recall this equation once again we know that green shaded region area is equal to the quarter circle area minus uh, the area of the white circle and we already figured out our quarter circle area as pi divided by 4 times uh, 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 whereas the white uh, circle area has been given to us as pi let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so i'm going to write down uh, pi divided by 4 uh, times 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, pi and now in this uh, next step i have tweaked this pi pi could be written as uh, 4 pi divided by 4 and this way we could see pi divided by 4 and pi divided by 4 uh, they are in common so therefore i can factor out uh, pi divided by 4 outside and we're gonna have inside this bracket uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 4 now we are going to combine these two like terms so therefore uh, our uh, green shaded region area is going to be pi divided by 4 times uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 minus 1 centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green shaded region area turns out to be pi divided by 4 times uh, 2 times square root of 2 minus 1 centimeter square and that's going to be approximately equal to 1.436 centimeter square as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye